Captain Erica here. Uh, today I wanted to shoot an everyday carry video for you guys. Um, it's not raining in gray outside, which is wonderful. <laughs> um, and I've been meaning to kind of update everybody because 2020 has kind of changed my mindset on how I do my everyday carry. Um, so I do a lot less like on the go type stuff. Um, so I don't carry a backpack anymore. Um, I carry a duffel bag for my kids and then I have a purse uh, for myself. And so it, I just want to update you with come, kind of some of the new doodads <laughs> I've added and why I kind of change things around. Um, just for some context, I'm a mom, so I have a three and a half year old and a nine month old, so I do carry a diaper bag usually. Uh, but sometimes I get to leave the house by myself, <laughs> um, usually just to the grocery store. But anyway, I thought it would be fun to kind of do a review of what I carry. So let's do it. So you can see here, I've got actually four kind of things going on here. I have my purse, which is kind of like my main, I don't ever, ever, ever leave without it. I've got my water bottle, also kind of same deal. I always have my purse and some kind of water container with me. And then this is my little mini diaper bag, and this is my main diaper bag. So one of the big change-ups is I don't carry a backpack anymore for my duff, or for my diaper bag. I actually use a duffel bag now from Cabela's. It was cheap. It has lots of great organization, um, and I'm not you going on like a lot of like short little day things. I'm I'm usually when I'm out now uh, going to someone's house and kind of like plopping my stuff down and let the kids play. Um, just the nature of like 2020 has really changed like what I want to bring with the kids. And I'm also like more <laughs> efficient as a mom and kind of figured out what I need and what I don't need. So I also have this, which is like my mini diaper bag um, that I bring into like the grocery store. And if we want to go on a little like walk or something, I don't need like everything in my diaper bag all the time. It's just nice to have it with me. So I've got some almonds here as snacks in the top. And then in this main pouch, I have all the kid basics. I won't go too detailed into it, but I bring this tarp actually that I'm shooting the video on uh, as my changing pad. And then I've just got like kids clothes and I, um, you know, diapers, uh, pads and nursing pads up in the top. And then this side pouch is actually pretty important. This has my uh, first aid kit and some extra stuff I've got in itch relief stick and I've got children's Benadryl for Teddy uh, and some diaper paste. Teddy has some allergies so I have to make sure that I'm kind of prepared for that just in case. But this particular diaper bag first aid kit I'm super in love with. I actually highly recommend this. Um, I've used it a bunch so it's kind of been adjusted over time. But this first aid kit uh, is just the basics but it's like the right basics. I added a bag to put garbage in. I added some dental floss, but it came with the tweezers and the scissors and the tape. You know, kind of standard s small first aid kit stuff. Uh, I have some kids band-aids so that, the, you know, he, if the kids get hurt, it's amazing how much psychologically like a cool band-aid can help them out. I've updated the Neosporin and some things as they've expired and uh, alcohol wipes and stuff. Um, but generally the kind of the contents is, are very similar. And I've added some moleskin in here just in case you have to walk really far, have some of that for blisters and things. Very, very happy with this little kit. So I'll see if I can link that. I don't know if, it, if it's on where it's at, but I'll, I'll link it down below because I really like the organization pouch too. And here, hand sanitizer, you know, because 2020 and being clean is good. Tissues. This is also backup TP. <laughs> and this is some uh, some silverware and straws. I haven't actually used that really this year, but I was using it because here a lot of the restaurants and stuff we we don't eat out much. But I would take Teddy out sometimes, and they would they serve paper straws, which is great. You know, I love saving the planet. But Teddy would just like destroy <laughs> the straws when he was little. So. I bought some plastic ones. Here's just bags. I've got a grocery bag, poop bags for the diapers, and a plastic bag. That's just in case the kids' clothes get dirty or wet. I can put that in there. And then in this bag is real simple. This is actually a Hidden Woodsman Possibles pouch. A couple diapers for the baby. 
and some uh, backup wipes, and again, hand sanitizer. Um, I'm not like a germaphobe, but it's kind of nice to have those stashed just everywhere. And so one of the things that's really important with everyday carry is self-defense. So I do carry a pepper spray right now. I don't have the situational awareness and kind of like focus right now with the two kids to do any sort of concealed carry of anything more complicated than pepper spray. But I do carry pepper spray and it's got a big old carry breeder on it because it's always on the outside of one of my bags um, so that it's readily accessible. And then of course I have my water. So that's all kind of like the EDC stuff that's not in my pockets and I'm gonna use say that my pockets is my purse. So let's dig into this. So here's my purse. I, I love this uh, purse. I'll link to the company I got it from uh, down below. It's a little bit fancy, but this was kind of a special gift I, I got a little while ago and it is very durable and I expect to use it pretty much forever. So inside uh, I've got a few pockets and then the real fun stuff is down below. So I'll show you what's in my pockets real quick. Smartphone. I've got just a very basic folding knife, easy to access. My wallet. So in here's uh, I've got an inhaler, but I've also got just all my girl stuff. So I've got hairbrush and comb, hand sanitizer, chapstick, and my nail trimmers and a rubber band. And then on this side, this is the side for kind of the boys actually. I've got uh, Teddy and Cameron's EpiPen. Cameron has several life-threatening allergies and Teddy has a uh, pretty severe allergy as well. So I have to keep track of those guys. And then this is some medication, um, some stuff for Cameron and I've got uh, ibuprofen for myself and some Benadryl for who am, whomever needs it <laughs> then sunglasses and then down here in the bottom I'm trying to stay organized so what I do is I put all my fun stuff my fun survival stuff like in this and I just I don't have anything else at the bottom which is pretty nice so here is my meandering maker possibles pouch this is a medium sized one um, I'll link to his website below. Awesome uh, craftsman. He, he lives in Texas. So inside, I immediately have my pouch with my Leatherman Wave. Essential EDC, <laughs> in my opinion. If you're going to carry anything, you might as well carry a multi-tool. I keep it wrapped in the bag so that it doesn't like poke any of my other stuff. And then I have my... Uh, foraging handkerchief from Wazoo Survival. I've got a little Altoids tin with a bushcraft necklace, um, fire starting necklace. I don't wear it often because right now the baby is nursing and she's always like grabbing at stuff on my neck so I don't really wear necklaces right now. Uh, and this in here is a little micro SD card and that has all of my photos of my kids backed up on there just in case something happens I have my photos. I've got a little uh, spork there. This is a new addition. I am terrible, terrible about remembering knots. <laughs> so I just decided I would carry around a little reference sheet. Here, I used to carry my Leatherman actually in this. I made this, um, but I've actually tucked a few different things in here now. I've got the bits for the Leatherman and some wire. It's actually been surprisingly helpful on occasion to have a little bit of wire on hand. Dental floss. Emergency whistle. This is a, a produce bag. This has been actually surprising. It's a reusable one. It's been surprisingly handy. Duct tape. I've got some, this is like paracord, but it's like thinner paracord. Also useful. I've got my little lighter. Mag light flashlight. Uh, I know there's a lot of fancier flashlights out there in the world, but I just happen to like mag light and it works just fine. So that's what I have. Pen. And in here I've got another container. This is a just kind of a cool container I won in a giveaway on Instagram. Uh, but I got a Ziploc bag. I've got a little a little micro compass 
This actually is kind of a new addition and I'm excited about that. Pitch wood. I added some electrolytes to my everyday carry. Right now I'm doing a low carb diet so I have uh, some kind of keto friendly electrolytes here. Medical tape. Electrical tape. This is a Viking whetstone from Wazoo Survival. I like their stuff. Here's a strop. Some triple antibiotic ointment or neosporin. A can opener. Moleskin. Alcohol prep pads. Band-aids. And um, this is a mirror and it's got like the plastic on it still. So I actually really want to upgrade this to a signal mirror someday. That's one of my goals for the everyday carry. But that is all the stuff that was in this pouch. Okay, that was all the stuff that was in my little possibles pouch there that was in my purse. You can see I carry a lot of things, <laughs> but that is the nature of being a mom. Okay guys, so that was it. Thank you so much for watching. It's I'm a little bit rusty with my camera, so I just wanted to get it out, shoot a video. It's not raining, so why not? Um, I hope you guys are doing well. I know that the weather on in other parts of the United States and the world has been insane lately. <laughs> it's been pretty mild here. Um, very gray, very wet, very depressing, <laughs> but it's okay. Uh, thank you for watching. Comment below like what if you have any suggestions for my everyday carry. Um, I'll link everything in the description below if you're curious about anything. So anyway, thank you guys so much. Peace.